guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new hey friend my name is Kyra Oni thank you so much for tuning in go ahead and click that subscribe button and while you're at it click that notification bell as well so you are updated on each and every single one of my uploads now let's get into the video today folks we are going to be renovating this mirror over there I got this mirror you guys for free okay sometimes when people move out it's easier to just trash it than it is to sell it or move it or whatever so I noticed that this mirror was down there long story short it was at the dumpster and now it's up here because it is cute and it is nice so originally I wasn't gonna do anything to it because I was like okay it's white that goes in my apartment and everything but there's a reason why somebody got rid of this and I'm gonna show you guys why. Okay, this right here is the mirror. You know, it looks fine from first glance, but if you look at the top right here, you can see that there is a gap. So I'm gonna come over here. So you guys can see there's a gap right here and that's because this piece of wood right here is skewed. And if we go and look down here, we can see that the wood is splitting um, and then if we turn it in the back, you can see that this is the skewedness of the wood. I don't know if somebody pulled it or pushed it or bumped it. I don't know. So I decided that I'm going to keep this and instead of getting rid of it and just bringing it back down to, to the dumpster, I figured why not repurpose it and this would be a great video. So we are going to make it functional enough and beautiful enough to be able to stand up to the caliber of beauty in my apartment. So we're gonna get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do to my mirror is wipe it down. Yes, it has already been disinfected. As soon as I brought it in my apartment, I disinfected it. Do not worry, I don't play those games with the germs. But I'm going to wipe it down again because it has been sitting in my apartment for a while. So I just wanna get rid of all the dust and debris. So I'm going in with a Clorox wipe and just wiping it down and try to make sure there's no lint or anything because we don't want any imperfections when we go ahead and paint our mirror. All right, y'all, so I just finished wiping it down. Um, and so, yeah, now I'm going to tape everything off so I can prepare to fix some of the minor alignment issues. Um, and then we're gonna spray paint it. So get you some papers. I'm using some old papers from my physics class. And uh, yeah, we just gonna tape this thing off and then fix it and then do our extra stuff to it. Okay, so I finished blocking off everything and now we have to finish that little, um, not finish, fix that little crack that's in there because when we paint it, we want everything to be smooth. So I have this liquid nails, um, it's the heavy duty for interior and exterior construction, ad construction adhesives. So we're gonna use this, you can use whatever you want. I have this on hand, so again, this is what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna use this to seal up any cracks that I have in my mirror so that 
when we paint everything, it's all smooth. So to fill in the cracks, it's very simple. You just go ahead and work the liquid nails into the crack. When I opened up mine, it's like busted and I got a whole bunch on my finger, so I'm just using that. But go ahead and work it in. And then we're going to use a putty knife to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. And so I got mine from Walmart, but of course everything will be linked in the description box as well. But you wanna use the putty knife, mine is a flexible one, to work it into the cracks. You wanna make sure that they are properly filled and sealed so i just go ahead and do that to all of the cracks and don't worry if it's not super smooth because we're going to fix that a little bit later so now what we're going to do is paint it spray paint it so i'm using this rustoleum metallic spray paint um i use it this is the gold that i use in all of my diys and i think it's like three dollars on amazon the price does fluctuate but usually it's pretty inexpensive i did fill in the cracks so you guys can see if it will focus oh excuse me yeah so you guys can kind of see um i filled it in so like that gray that you guys see is the um, filler and I did that down here too and I did that up here and it looks a little like messy but that's okay because we're just gonna take some sandpaper now go over our areas wherever we put our um, liquid nails and just file it off file off the extra file off the excess up here so it's nice and smooth so I used a fine grit sandpaper. We want it to be fine so that there aren't any streaks in the wood. We want it to be as smooth as possible. So the finer you can get, the better it is. And speaking of smooth, um, a good tip is to sand it while wet. I didn't, I don't think I did it in the video, but definitely it makes it a lot smoother if you use some water. So get a spray bottle um, and spray the sandpaper or spray the area that you're about to sand and that definitely will help you make it as smooth as possible. So for the back of the mirror, I showed you guys this a little bit earlier, but because the wood on the right side your right, my left, when you look at it from the front, is skewed. The back card stock, cardboard piece uh, stuck up. So I tried to staple it with my staple gun. I tried to glue it and I tried to tape it, but none of that worked. So I just decided since it was gonna be in a corner anyways, to just leave it as is. All right, you guys, so one thing that we're also going to spray paint are these wooden onlays. I got these from Amazon, links will of course be in the description box. But this is what we're going to use to kind of like jazz everything up. So um, it comes with a set of two, the right pieces, two right pieces and two left pieces. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray paint these individually before we go ahead and add them to our mirror. All right, you guys, now believe it or not, this is the most difficult part of this DIY. So originally I was gonna use Mod Podge uh, like I did in my ostrich palm tree video. Of course, check it out because it was a bomb. But uh, in that video, uh, Subby had mentioned to me to use the gold leaf glue. Now, I was aware of it prior to reading that comment and I was gonna get it. But to be honest, I didn't want to spend any more money and I didn't think, honestly, I didn't think that I was going to use it on another project. Honestly and truly, I don't know why because I love gold leaf and it's like I'm addicted to it now and I like to use it in all of my projects. But anyway, so in this project for this project I decided you know what let me go ahead bite the bullet and get the glue and honestly I'm saying bite the bullet like it's that expensive guys it's really not it's maybe like five dollars but anyway that's not the point okay that's not the point I didn't see the value at the time now I do uh, but I wanted to go ahead and mention this because I am convinced that it would have been 10 times harder had I actually used the Mod Podge glue and let me tell you why 
so I had some difficulties with this uh, I don't really know if you can tell in the video but actually no this was like towards the end I think it was like the second to last one so I kind of got the hang of it but I wanted to say that because through trial and error I found that you have to do at least two coats because the wood that the onlays are made out of is very porous so you know feel free to spray it with some sealant or anything like that um prior to using this glue because if you do you will lose you will lose Kyra you will use less so that's the first thing secondly lay the gold leaf down in sheets so I did two coats of this glue and when I did two coats let it fully dry I know they say you know leave it for 24 hours um when I say fully dry I mean you know wait until it's tacky when it's tacky then you can go ahead and put on the second coat uh but yeah two coats at bare minimum okay if you don't use a sealant prior to putting on the glue to attach your gold leaf secondly use the gold leaf in sheets you guys see i'm going in with the sheets itself and then i'm just smoothing it out with a little brush i know they have a gliding brush but i had one already and i found that it really didn't work for this type of project because the onlays are so intricate so we use it use it in sheets um and then brush it so the way that you guys see me brushing it brush it so you have less gaps to fill in and then it'll be a lot easier for you to go in and do that now the onlays do have some rough surfaces to them so it's kind of hard to attach the gold leaf there so don't be surprised if it breaks but out of everything this took the longest uh, but you know what I'm saying I like the Hollywood-esque vibes that it gives so it most certainly was worth it but hopefully these tips help you because I know when I first started I was so frustrated and I you know had to walk away from from the on list for a second because it kept breaking and it kept doing a lot of stuff and even still you'll see in the end there is sort of cracking but I like that old Hollywood glam as I mentioned earlier so it gives it kind of an antique that's the word I'm looking for it gives it an antique vibe so it kind of ended up working out for me especially because I spray painted them gold beforehand but if that's not something that you're looking for, definitely take these tips so that it can be fully covered and you don't have any gaps or anything like that. So after I did all that, we are going to reassemble our mirrors. Now, this is another, you know, to be honest, honesty moment right now. So I was trying to get this video out for you guys and I ran out of spray paint and it was on back order on Amazon and everywhere else I looked. It wasn't even in my store so my Home Depot or Lowe's or anything so I kind of had to wing it and uh, <laughs> just put it up like this I promise you in person you can't really even tell but I know in the video I was like oh man this looks kind of bad but yeah I tried to rush and get this video up for you and ironically when I was editing this video that's when my computer crashed and my external hard drive was corrupted so <laughs> and, and I was rushing and I didn't even need to do all that because my technology failed me and I wasn't able to put up the video anyway you know it's okay two months later we're still here we're still kicking we got back on the horse so after I assembled everything together I take my paper off and I clean the mirror once more to make it nice and shiny nice and you know lustrous and you know just looking really good because now we are going to put the on lays on now uh this is how they're looking right now and i put i put the ones that didn't look as good on the bottom that's another trick if y'all uh trial and error you know like i'm saying i said trial and error so the ones that didn't come out as good put them on the bottom you know people aren't going they're not going to notice it if you put them on the bottom just do that but i'm going to use uh, my favorite super glue that I just showed you guys, but actually halfway through, I ran out, and so I had to switch to E6000 glue. Now, I know a lot of you guys, especially my crafters and my DIYers, we have E6000 on lock, on standby, on, you know, on the hand at all times, right? So, for those of us who have E6000 glue, you can use it if you want to. However, out of the two, I would most certainly choose the super glue. It was the best. Uh, for me because I was able to you know gravity is most certainly a thing so I was able to put it on hold it for a few seconds and then it was done I didn't have to worry about it the top ones I had to use e6000 it was sliding and I didn't want to tape it and do all the other stuff it was just too much so yeah go ahead and place your onlays in whatever way that you want to play around with it you know 
Um, this is what I decided I wanted to do, but I know some people might decide to um, have the onlays go outside of the mirror. So it's like a, like a, I don't know, it gives a different shape to the mirror. I hope you guys understand where I'm going with that. But anyways, I adjusted it to my liking. I let it dry. And then once you do all that, you are all done, girl. You are done, my loves. And we have to do the final shots, you know. I was having a whole bunch of fun uh, with this mirror. Follow me on Instagram because I like to post my outfits and all other, you know, DIY and cool stuff on there. Um, and yeah, I just have a lot of fun. You can see a lot of my personality on there. So go ahead and follow me. But anyway, this is the final look, you guys. I love this mirror. Okay, I get compliments on it all the time when I post it on my story when my friends come over. It's amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.